Hello and welcome back to the Finish Line and our Cheltenham Festival anti post videos. So this is the first one of the 2021 season and from now up to the week before Cheltenham we are going to give you our anti post pick for that week. So it's going to be different horse every week for different races. Um, so hopefully we'll find a few winners on the way at decent prices. So to get us kicking off, Tom, you go with your first one. Yep, so for the weekend that's in it, um, I am going to go for Simply the Bet as my first pick for the Ryanair. Um, I know a lot of people, I put this up in one of our Cheltenham, like, you know, under the radar ones or, or whatever at the end of last season, and a lot of people took the piss out of me. Um, but I really do think that there's the chance that this horse could turn into a grade one horse. I don't think he's done improving yet. Um He's off 157 now at the, at the weekend. We fancy him to win that. If he wins that, he's going to be 162 at least. Um, and to be honest, I think that gets you at least placed in a Ryanair these days if you can run to that mark. Um, what else brings into the factor is his price. I think he's way overpriced. Um, scrolling down to see what price is. He's 25 to 1 across the board with a lot of people. Um I think that's too big. If he if he wins at the weekend, he's going to be half that. Um, I definitely think he's got the better of, of the Imperial Aura. And Imperial Aura is now as short as 10 to 1 and is 12 to 1 with Paddy Power. I think their prices are, are, are the wrong way around, really. Um, I think simply the bets is, is definitely the better horse out of the two of them. Um, and, yeah, if he wins at the weekend, he, he'll be 10 to 1, I imagine. So, um yeah, simply the bets for me in an open right now. Dave, you go on. Uh, my one is in the mayor's, the new race, the mayor's grade two chase, and it's Benny the Jew. Uh, really love Ross. saying Jew. Yeah, I love, and you know what? I like the horse a lot as well. Um, as I touched on our last video, it's the mayor's, yeah, mayor's <laughs> chase, picking mayor's. Uh, everyone knows that I'm happy to eat it as well. Of the four legged and two legged, coins. yeah, sure. Look, it is what it is. Man knows what he likes. <laughs> um, myself and Tom are already on. I had this conversation with Tom. Andrew didn't listen, so that's not my fault. Um, and Tom, me and you didn't because oh, you, you didn't back her. I did back her. You didn't. You did the other day. We we backed him about know, two months ago. Because I uh, go on say it. Uh, but she's around 10, 11 to one at the moment for the mayor's chase. Um. She's probably shorter in the betting for the, the hurdle that she was second to Honeysuckle in last year. I don't think she can beat Honeysuckle over two mile four. Honeysuckle's a bit too much speed over that distance for her. Uh, there's a few whispers coming out of uh, Willie's that they will try her over fences. And she's a really, really slick and impressive jumper of fences. She won a couple of chases when she first came to Willie's. I think one of them was in Clamell and she was amazing over fences. She went over hurdles then. I think Willie lost one or two mares, uh, Annie Power, um, Room Room Mag at the time. And then they put Benny over uh, hurdles instead. And obviously won, a, won the mares hurdle, I think she was at Apple's Jay in her one year. Um, yeah. And then stayed over hurdles and hasn't gone back over fences since. Willie puts his mares into races at Cheltenham that he thinks he can win. It's all about getting Cheltenham winners. It's not a grade one. It's not a grade two. It's the race that they can win. If she runs in the mares chase, she's miles better than anything that's in it. She'd be a six to four shot. So taking the price into account, I think it's a really good uh, bet. Not knowing now where she's going to turn up. It's only two races. She's not going to go for a, a world hurdle. She's going to stay against mares. It's either the mayor's hurdle or the mayor's chase, and you're getting a good price. Solid case. Uh, so my one is Ingolo, fifty to one for the Supreme Novice Hurdle. Uh, he's he was last seen on last Sunday winning the Grade Three Two Mile Novice Hurdle um, at Navan under a double penalty, and he beat a Henry the Bromhead horse called um, Animatics, I think. Um, they think a lot of her. They think she's uh, a very good, very good horse, and she's only going to get better. And he looked beat for all ends up jumping two out, but 
the fast the more they went, the quicker he got into in the gear and he kept plugging away. And then suddenly the afterburn is hit and he came up out the outside and he won going away. He is before that race he was beating Malone Road, who we obviously know was a big huge high pass for Gordon Ellis. Um the year Envoy Allen won the um champion bumper. According to Gordon Ellis, Gordon Ellis, he was a better horse than Envoy Allen. Um, we don't know how much of that ability is left, so how how much can you take that form and trust is another thing. But looking into it, I was looking down the betting um when he won on Sunday, and I was thinking, right, this lad's going to be 16, 14 to 1 for the Supreme Novice or, or the Ballymore. He's 33 to 1 for the Ballymore, which I'll be honest, I'm I'm gonna back him in that as well, just in case. Uh, but he's 50 to 1, which is a huge price for a Willie Munn's horse in a Supreme Novice hurdle. Um, owned by Rich Ritchie, who loves this race, who has found winners for this race over the years. He's the type of horse that I think will be suited by the Supreme. They're flat, flat end to end gallop, and he'll be coming there picking up the pieces at the end. I think his price is taken into that there's a lot of high horses as of now in it. So he's the likes of. Um, Fernie Hollow, Bally Adam, uh, Flinter Sacra, who are kind of the talking horses this season so far. Um, you can go tr- down through it and you can find out yourself um, who you'll take out. If you like, you take out Malone Road, She Wears It Well, Bob Ollinger, um, Sir Gerhard is even in it. He's a bumper horse. So if you take out, you can take out a good quarter to, 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 to two ways to that, or two ways, that's the same thing. You can take out quarter. You can take out. <coughs> you're the accountant, Tom. And I call the two numbers. Fists, you two fists. Fist, sorry, two fists. Yeah, thanks. Um, you can wipe out majority of them horses, and you come down to him fifty to one. He's overpriced. Um, I liked what I saw. He passed the eye test, and I'm going to put him up at fifty to one for the Supreme Novice Hurdle. He is my first one for Tetan. I backed him. He's way, way overpriced. Yeah. He looks like he loved the hill at Tetan. Yeah. And you know what? He reminds me of Champagne Fever. So. It was it Let's was it. at Navin. There is a deceptively steep climb from the bottom, from the turning up to the finishing line, and the further you went, the more he just grabbed the ground and kept going. I don't think he wants further either. I think he wants an end time gallop yeah. or to, to lead it at two miles. That's why then. I I was debating which to whether put him up for the Supreme or the Ballymore, but I think the Supreme will be run to suit him, and I think fifty one is a madness price. So. I really like him. I think he's way over priced. Good night. Nice. Looking forward to looking forward to doing this set of videos though. Um I think we should keep a track of like what prices we tip horses at. You know, got- see see if we can make a profit by the end of the year. Keep, yes. a, keep a spreadsheet. I'm don't need a spreadsheet now. Because I'm gonna have the banner going across the end every week. So this week's ones will be obviously week one and they'll be going across the banner who oh, I picked, so it'll be keep going across every week and everyone keep a track of them and the prices. And we will put in brackets if the price up shortening. So, yeah, this is a nice. Is we finished this nice short video because we're just. I've loads, <laughs> I've loads of them at the minute, and half of those ones that we put up on the ones to follow or the Cheltenham, the 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 early anti post horses like Bally Adams twenties. I actually put him up at forties at one stage. He's now tens. Um, you know, there's, there's loads there at the minute that have got potential that I like. Like Tissa Crack. Wow. He's on the way back. Still even go there. I just can't wait till he does soil of Burley on the line. It's going to make my bloody ear. That's for uh, sixth place, like not for first place, by the way. <laughs> soil of Burley, that's the other one. He's now as short as seven to one for the stairs. Yeah, well. Right. He's hungry. He's here the last two hours and he's getting hangry now. So that's week one of our Chetman Festival Andy Post video done. Um comment below who you think is great value at this time of the year so far. Um we get back to all of them. We will either agree with you, disagree with you, or Dave will come on and might use you. No, I just want to say a few questions. If if people have a, a few horses they want us to talk about as well. Um, that they have the fancy prices on. Maybe we can pick one or two a week and have a chat with them as well. Yeah, we can do that at the end of each of our Channel Festival videos. Uh, right. And we've got, we go through, maybe next week we might go through like what we look for in a selection for an anti-post bet as well. Yeah, we'll do that. 
no problem. Uh, so, as they said, uh, leave down in the comments below who you are on already at big prices. And at the end of next week's video, we'll go through them. And after we give our picks next week, then or before we give our picks next week, we'll explain what we actually look for and what catches are right. So, yeah, that'll be three different opinions of that. Dom has his way, I've my way, Dave has his way. So, again, thanks for watching again, lads. Um, again, leave a comment below with your horse and we get to them next week. And give us a like, subscribe, and we will see you again next week for our – we'll see you actually on Sunday for our weekend review of the Tetland Paddy Power Mean and the Morgiana Hurl Farm Punchestown. So, again, thanks for watching, and give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you on Sunday.